Hello, I'm Rich Fippen, the director of Bunch of Amateurs. I'm Bobby Joe Taylor, number three. So we are looking at the Leatherhead episode, the YouTube version. So this is just a Leatherhead match. Um, quite a thriller as it worked out in the end, Bob. We're doing them all. Doing them all, <laughs> mate. Get me on board. I, I feel like I should be having an interview or something, mate, and getting on the payroll, to be honest. But yeah, well, <laughs> joking, mate. We don't have the budget for that. We'll you, Bob. <laughs> mate, I'm, I'm cheap as chips, mate. <laughs> cheap as That's chips. why you're still at the club. Mm. Um, so, yeah, this is our first... Second second shoot of the season, I think it was. Yeah, yeah, it's Hayden yeah. Bird, friend of the show, uh, former Kings manager and Merston manager, among others. This is the season before you in this game. The season I am, before, yeah. um, that scored, was scored, got an offside, scored. I think I scored in that game. Oh, you did, yeah. First half, yeah, I remember that. It was offside, which wasn't offside, if you remember. Yes, I do. I remember that. And then I scored again yeah. after that. Soon I after, yeah, justice. Um, so yeah, fairly light-hearted atmosphere. Um, at I'm the start injured, to be here. fair. I think actually. Oh yeah, because you had an ice pack on your thigh at the end of my the last groin. episode, didn't you? My groin was was playing up here actually. Right. All right now. No, it was it was just precaution. I think I was spit, spit um, inflammation. I think so. I was I was actually sort of all right. I might. Do you know what? Actually, no. I came on for about ten minutes or fifteen minutes up front just right. because we had no one else. Oh, I and remember I was, that now. Yeah. I was semi right to just like sort of run around at seventy five percent. Do you know yeah. what I mean? So that's got to be nice when you're um, you're told you don't have to be right on it. You can just have a bit of a run I, around. I, I got asked like, "Would you reckon you'd be alright?" And I said, "Look, yeah, like, I can I can do a job so like so Siegs doesn't blow up because I'm that type of guy. You know, I'm no, the last a guy. guy. Do you know what I mean? What a guy, Bob. Look after people, mate. There you are. On that note, like, the back on, of on that note, if anyone. <laughs> anyone needs any bed making or anything like that from Ikea just give me a shout because I spent last Thursday around Dan Pibus's place building his bed for him because he's oh, lazy is he no good at that no he just he, he could do it but he just he's too lazy mate <laughs> but, I, was, I thought Northern has had a good work ethic but yeah listen anyone anyone goes to Ikea get some flat packs or anything like that you need anything done give me a shout Bob's your man Bob's your man um, I'll do it for free just just <laughs> cup of tea couple of digestive biscuits no problem <laughs> Um, so yeah here we are interviewing Mark and um, it's funny at this stage because episodes are structured a bit differently for pre-season I never quite know do I need to do an interview with Mark are we treating this like a normal match and I'm trying to find ways to not have that same cookie cutter structure to the show although people like the familiarity I think when they watch a show they like to know they like to see the same thing but with different content as it yeah, were yeah. Um, but I'm always trying to change it a little bit so I'm trying to do more interviews with Mark kind of on the fly rather than these formal setups. So if I can grab him at any moment. Yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. If I can grab sense. him while I'm using the, the handheld camera and just get him to talk about something to me, that's a bit more a bit more interesting. I've been itching to try them burger and chips. Any good, Rich? I've only had one, <laughs> but yeah, they're all right. I, they, I'll Always. get one at the end of the shoot and it'll be cold. Oh, okay. But it's still, I'll eat, I'll eat it all. I'm part of the management team here. <laughs> oh, so this is a good bit here, actually. Yeah, because you're... Um, yeah, this is where Mark bigs you up a little bit, isn't he? <laughs> do you think you'll become a manager one day? Uh, do you know what? My thought process is I would probably prefer to be a first-team coach rather right. than a manager. Right. Because I don't really want to be that responsible. I want to be on the pitch, sort of, you know... Doing, being involved still in, in the football side of things, yeah. like doing the sessions, and I like taking football sessions rather than, you know, what the gaffer does. He does everything, and I've, I wouldn't, I don't think I'd get yeah. on too well with that, to be honest. Like, you know, I haven't got the brain for that, to be quite fair. <laughs> Just the football side, the, the, you know, the um, academically, I'm not great, but practically, I'm. You know, yeah, that's what so like coaching so and coaching and, and taking the sessions and like you know doing the the man management stuff where you sort of like your character and your your player man management skills to talk to players and yeah. do stuff with them I think I'd quite enjoy that sort of like what Beardy did do you know what I mean that yeah. sort of role That that's something that I would like to do to be fair as a manager I mean maybe further down the line if I was enjoying that and it got to a point where I feel like I could take that step possibly but predominantly I think I'd prefer to be on the pitch yeah your career is always going to be in football right you you just live and oh, this is a finish <coughs> you live and breathe yeah. football don't you Bob yeah, to be fair, it's all I've ever done. It's all I've ever known. Really, I, I haven't really done too much else. And I'm on the side, of, on top of the, what I do for Dorking, I, I coach. To be fair, that's that's really mm. what I do. Um, but you know, you, I don't know. You never know. But 
yeah, at, at the moment, I think that's sort of the avenue that I would look at, to be fair. I'm, I was meant to do my B licence uh, last summer, whenever it was, but I couldn't actually do the course. I got accepted, but I couldn't do the course because oh, uh, I was away on holiday at the time. So I just said to him, I got accepted and I had to pull out of it, but um, I'm looking to do that this summer. To well, be fair. you get that badge and Mark might have to install you as manager when he makes Well, there you go. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Look, I, I know <laughs> what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Not time, but no, nah, um, yeah, I've just... I'll get that done. I want to do it whilst I'm still playing, and I don't have to worry about that. Obviously, yeah, then, I'll, then I'll sort of do the A license, and then that, yeah. well, that way, once that once that happens, I can go down any avenues. But there's so many options. Like you can go down. I could I could be a scout. I could be a coach. I could do something internally with like I don't know what you know. I'm I'm always I'm always open. But I think probably the football route will will be the way. Um, but you know, like I said, you never know what's you never know what's going to happen. So we'll see. So a goal from a set play, which we don't see hugely from Dawkins, and Cookie. a lovely finish from Jeb earlier, which um, I've always wanted to see more of from him. Um, great, yeah, great. He's always been good technically, though. And then yes, Cookie, obviously, yeah. you know, special mention to him recently. He's been a colossus, to be fair. Yeah, I'm happy for him. He's a great, great player. Great he's, player. he's had a good redemption arc. It's not one that we can really show in the show particularly well. You know, he what happened at Chesterfield did not work in his favour. He got injured. He was out of the team at one point. Was there going to be a way back for him? Um, but now he's playing extremely well. This is the this is the this is what I say about the whole highs and lows of football. You know, you can never be too high and never be too low because it just goes to show those just like that. And to be fair to Cookie, you know, you've got to put your hats off to him. He's resilient, mentally yeah, strong. That's yeah, what it shows out of mental strength. And listen, he's probably been our best player for the last four or five games to mm. be fair so you've got to give him a, a special shout out for that he's a colossus defender he's, he's strong and he's yeah I'm, do you know what I'm happy for him he's, he's a nice kid yeah. he's a bit angry but he's a, great, <laughs> he's a bit angry and he, he looks like he might take your head off but you know if you actually speak to him down and he's, he's a good guy <laughs> nicknamed the undertaker yeah, according mate, to Mark now he is, so, he um... is you literally don't know if he's smiling or frowning you're not sure <laughs> Not sure whether to cuddle him or, or, or what. I don't know. I'm scared, but no, nah, he's all right. He's a good guy. He's a good crack. So this first half, you're pretty dominant. Um, the goals are kind of flying, and it well, looked we're like you it up was, right at this stage. Yeah, it looked like it was going to be an absolute hammering. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Leatherhead, um, but they've got some nippy players. They've got some um, some good talent. In that I team. think I think quite a few of these are all ex Kingstonian with the the manager. And yeah, I think right. Got a few over to be fair. So they're they're they they've played probably the level above. Um, so there are, you know, like I say, they're always going to have moments in a game. I think they had a couple which, yeah, they get a goal, I think, pretty soon now. Hey, this is it, yeah. this is a goal, this is a goal yeah. 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 Um, but it still felt like there was going to be loads more goals in this game, didn't it? 30 minutes in and there's four goals in a game. I mean, you probably you probably know there's going to be a few. <laughs> but um, I think we, we end up, I'm pretty sure we're quite far in front cruising at one point. And then I think, obviously, you know, a couple of mistakes that, uh, the keeper makes unfortunately you know we all make mistakes so it's not one of those that yeah, you can grill anyone for, for yeah you know bless him it was a tough day but yeah I think a couple of mistakes that, that this is a goal Seager yeah oh, I love that finish from Seager well, that's a that's a proper poacher's little finish that is a little jab past the keeper great little uh, yeah. control of the ball looks like he died straight after love it Seags what does he say here oh yeah I remember this <laughs> God, do you know what? I forget about that camera that looks that way. If I'm ever standing there, be careful of the facials I make. <laughs> <laughs> I need that. I need more cameras in there. Frustratingly, the camera on that far side that you can see now. That's designed to just point at you guys so that I can get a shot of you, but it it breaks the 180 rule. So when I use it, Mark flips around, he's facing the other direction, which you shouldn't do when you're editing. Okay. Um, but it's the only way to get you guys in consistently because if you do or say anything um, that we want to use, I've got to have a, I've got okay. to have an angle on it. You know, five one. Forty seven minutes, five one. Absolutely cruising, yeah. And this game finishes 5 4. Yeah, no, it's mad, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's a shame Mitch ain't here now. He's gone, isn't he? He's got, he's got his moment. <laughs> he tells him to go across the pitch. He loves it. What's he telling me? Oh, does he? Oh, I don't even know. He doesn't, though. Um. 
yeah so that's funny because he's just said <laughs> he's just said that uh, if you look at Isaac in the um as a central defender um then he's excellent and then the first thing he does make a mistake do you know what? I remember this bit I remember the, this bit because so Cal plays the ball back to it at some point. I don't know what it is. is that's this the it? next goal. Oh, no, this, this, one. this goal goes under him, but it's not his fault. Like that, that hey, goal they, they, that, of it. That, that goal there, these things happen, right? Sometimes it goes underneath, gets a bit fast, or if he's tried to get yeah. out, you know, that, that's that's not his fault. It's nothing like that. You know, so you don't have any issues with that one. But I remember that I remember the first one, and I remember seeing Cal playing the ball back, and then he was going to pass it to Cal, but somebody Isaac runs out to try and get on the ball as well, and sort of blocks that pass and draws somebody oh, I in, see. and then he gets stuck, and then obviously, yeah, I think, but yeah, and I guess because as a goalkeeper, you're gonna. I thought he saved that. He did, didn't he? No, he was given as a goal kick. I thought he touched it. Um, maybe he did. Yeah, to your point, like if he's not going to want to just hoof it, even though that's the safe option, because he's going to want to please Mark and he's going to want to play out. So I can imagine his brain getting stuck in a bit of a situation there where he's like, well, I, I need to get rid, but at the same time, I don't want to just it, get rid. It. So Cal plays back and he yeah. takes a touch and then see Isaac starts to run out. So I think he was going to play to Cal and I then thinks, oh, no, I, I can't. See. But then Isaac's obviously, in yeah. the way. And now it's, it's that extra turn there. If he just punted it there as soon as he as soon as he put his foot on it then he's trying to get his body and he's just got he probably you know he'll, he'll learn from them mistakes you know it's one of those things yeah I mean I've spoken to him because like, like I he should have gone yeah. I told him this would be in the episode but um, it would obviously be a huge TikTok if we made a TikTok out of it particularly with Mark talking to him at the end and I but I didn't want to do that without talking to him and he, he said to me like he'd rather I didn't so I'm like yeah fine there's no lovely ball from Matt Hay there um, so we didn't do anything with it but he did say to me like he wasn't in the right frame of mind at the time. He just come back from injury. He wasn't really on it mentally. Um, and I don't think he's played since. Um, I think he's kind of given up football for now, um, which is really tough on the lad because he's a good, yeah. solid keeper. Um, I mean, he got that opportunity because he'd he'd actually been doing really well in training. To right. be fair to him, he you know he was making some good saves and doing, you know, then this is this is this is the side to football that. You don't like to see happen to somebody no, because, no. It, like I say, some people unfortunately like the, the truth behind it is is if you're not mentally strong enough, this is not for you. Yeah. You know that there, you know, makes or breaks you. I think that moment there, I think it's like okay, you know, I can roll my sleeves up and sort of go, oh, that's yeah. fine. I'm going to come back stronger, or it can almost break you and you think you don't want to deal with the embarrassment, or he feels like everyone's going to look at him differently, which unfortunately, you know, that wouldn't be the case, not especially not in our changing room. No, that's you know, we, you would get and the gaffer was actually yeah. really supportive about it and said he, you know, he didn't go in like he would too with some other people. You know, if that was me that made a mistake, it's a bit more experience. It's different. Oh, can you, can you remember, yeah, true. Can you remember the? Um that, that really good guy, goalkeeper we had on loan, Joe, someone. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, Joe, uh, the one from QPR. Walsh. Joe Walsh, that's it, yeah. Really like Joe Walsh. Really good guy. Got on really well with him. He made a mistake in one of his first games. Got an absolute fucking bollocking yeah. for it, didn't he? But I think that's because Mark knows he's grown up in a professional environment, a professional football environment, and he'd be used to that. And he's at a bigger yeah. club, so it's something different. And yeah. like I say, some that's what I say. It can make a break you. Do you know what I mean? Like some people will go, "I oh, actually do." It does you good from that. Some people yeah. will go, do you know, what? I probably needed that. I hope Backhurst comes back. I really do. <coughs> I hope he, um, yeah, anyone, try. anyone. Nobody likes to see that. Do you know what I mean? Football's about, you know, first and foremost, enjoyment. You know, yeah, that's that's your piece it. of fun. And fun doing it. This is funny because this is the second time that Mark's beaten Hayden and won a trophy <laughs> and not really cared about the trophy. Yeah. <laughs> it happened a year earlier, year and a half earlier. Um, yeah, he was... He was he does start going in on the kids here, but he's not really talking about the goalkeeper. He's talking about um, kids in general. He's talking about Jack Saunders there and a little, to some extent Matt Hay. Um, he's got a real thing about kids watching <coughs> I quite like, senior players. I quite players. like this, the, the say there, though, the sort of thing. Like if you, for, the, for the youngsters, though, it is... Do you know what? When I was a youngster, I got grilled. <clears throat> it was a bit different than nowadays. I look at it, and you know, you get you see some youngsters walking in still with headphones around their shoulders yeah, and that, that think that they're playing at a Premier League club. And I think, do you know what? Like, okay, fine, do it whatever way you want to do it. But if you want to be successful, that for me personally, that's not the way you do it. And then what he says there is kind of true. You know, you get an experience, a chance to come in with like at the first team level at your age to experience maybe getting a chance of playing. Or even, like you say, seeing someone that's playing in your position where you want to be at at some point. Yes, yeah. you, what, you've you probably got bigger sights in your mind. But for now, it's about... I always see footballers like 
I get a signed a new contract at Dorking Wanderers. I'm now back at the bottom of the ladder. I've got to climb back to the top to get where I need to be. Mm-hmm. To be, I need to sign another deal next time because obviously it's a short career. Or I'm trying to get somewhere else, whatever it is. You should always start and go, right, okay, my first step is can I get into the first team training or the squad or whatever it may be. Yeah. Then once you get to there, you're like, right, okay, back starting again. Now it's about can I be regular. Then, it, then you can set your sights high at that time and go, right, now I don't want to be here. I do want to be playing in the football league. Or wherever you may be, yeah. But you got to earn that, and I think like I'm watching people come in today at training. I said to a couple of lads, like, I can't believe it. Like these boys got headphones in, walking around like they own the place. And it's like when I was a when I was a youngster <laughs> at Cambridge, and I was at the national league then before we got promoted to the football league. Right. But coming through, we was in the national. It was a Vanara. It was a conference center then, the Blue Square Premier, and I was I couldn't remember the feel the nerves I used to get like on the coach or wherever it may be but I got grilled for things like that if I did anything like that I was scared I couldn't do it yeah to remain humble right yeah and then that but now you don't get that you don't get that now it's all about they watch everyone on the TV and they come in headphones and think they can do this that and the other but you know some people still do it and I think that's why I, when I grill the youngsters and some of the lads go oh they're young I said I don't care they've got to learn no I agree with you on that mate <clears throat> I think it's easy to see um, Soccer Sunday players coming off the coach looking the part and thinking I want to be that guy yeah. and it's not about that right mm. right well we've reached the end of this director's commentary so thank you so much for listening to us and thanks for your time Bob no problems